The Furiosa World Movie Premiere has ultimately come to an end. And just like her fashion sisters Zendaya and Margot Robbie, who served us mind-blowing fashion moments during the entirety of their movie tours, Anya has definitely followed in their fashion footsteps and served us jaw-dropping looks for our Furiosa outings. So in today's video, we will be ranking all the looks that she served us during the entire premiere, press tours and photo call for the Furiosa movie. Now I'd surely like to keep the conversation going, so be sure to let me know your top 3 Three looks that she served us overall and let's see if that makes it to my top three looks in this ranking so yeah without further ado let's get right into the video in 12th place we have Anya Taylor-Joy arriving the Cannes Film Festival in France for the Furiosa press tour and she was in this amber pleated asymmetric midi dress by Atlien from their spring summer 2024 ready to wear collection and she was styled by the incredible Ryan Hastings and I'm really starting off this countdown with this look even though this look was more of like a street style look and not really like a premiere or press tour look only because of the buzz it ultimately created for the movie. I mean just just the way she was strutting her stuff in this look was just so fierce that it had so many people gagged and you know wondering who she honestly was and to be honest i absolutely was living for that moment now moving on to this look i really love the construction of the look in itself and even though this was a ready to wear look it still had that elevation about it that i really did love i also really love this pleated fabric that we see that was used for the construction of the dress as well as these drapings going on in that asymmetric neckline i mean the dress in itself fits right and this color just looks really divine on her however while this dress in itself was a total slay the main event however has to be this wide brim straw hat from jacques i mean that in itself just added the pizzazz to this look that was very much needed i also really love the styling of this look with those sandal heels and sunglasses i think this was a well put together look so yeah i'm just gonna chalk this look as the 12th look in this ranking in 11th place we have anya taylor joy attending the furiosa can after party in this all black fringy short dress by dior from their pre-fall 2024 collection and she was styled by the amazing ryan hastings and this is like sort of where we really do start to rank the looks properly now i really do like this look for like an after party situation i think because of like the fringe detailing and the length of it all it just really allowed for a lot of movement whilst you being very after party appropriate and i really did love it i love this deep plunging neckline that we see as well as this ponytail moment she has going on for her hair i think it just made sense for the overall look now for styling she has paired this look with a pair of matching gloves black sandal heels and those jewelry set from tiffany and co and this was indeed a cute look however i'm really just gonna put this look as the 11th look because like i said before it was really just a cute look so yeah this look takes the 11 spots in this ranking in 10th place, we have Anya Taylor-Joy at the Furiosa press session in Mexico and she was in this white structured leather two-piece by Robert Wan from their spring-summer 2023 collection and she was styled by the super talented Ryan Hastings and I definitely did have mixed feelings about this look. Now on one hand, I really love the material that was used in the creation of this look as well as the overall structure of the look. I also really love the design details that we see run across the entire look like this harness like details that we see on the top that structure that we have on the shoulders and those large zippers that just really added more design elements to this look however i just wasn't really in love with the overall styling of this look i mean that black brown moment just felt a bit random and lazy to me and quite frankly i just would have styled this look just as we see on the model on the runway because it clearly looked like something was ultimately missing from this look but aside that i still think this was was a pretty decent look so i'm just gonna rank this look as the 10th look in this ranking in ninth place we have anya taylor joy at the uk premiere of furiosa in this red leather jacket a black turtleneck inner shirt and a mini belt skirt by jean frio and she was styled by the amazing ryan hastings and i really did like this look a lot now i thought this look in itself was street style it was fun but it was still fashion at the same time now while i thought that this red leather jacket moment and that inner shirt were all right my main focus was immediately drawn to that mini belt skirt and i just 
just think that that in itself was a cool take on a belt skirt for sure now i love her hair and i just love her styling of this look with those black pumps so yeah i really like this look a lot so i'm just gonna chuck this look as the nice look in this ranking in eighth place we have Anya's Halo Joy at the Furiosa photo call in London and she was in this army green suit dress by Macy Margiela from their Fall Winter 2016 Couture collection and she was styled by the incredible Ryan Hastings and while I thought that the overall look in itself was just fine the thing that really draws me into this look is just the overall styling of the look. Now we've seen a lot of like belt addition in the styling of her looks and I just think that that in itself is a style tie into the movie since we had like a lot of like cars bikes and automobiles in the movie so i just think that the use of like various belts was such like a thoughtful way to like tie in the looks with the happening of the movie and i can really appreciate that i also really love the deliberate oversized fit on her and those shoes they really look stunning with the overall look so yeah this look definitely takes the eighth spot in this ranking in seventh place we have Anya Taylor Joy at the photo call in Cannes, France, in this off white Tweedy two piece by Jill Sander from their Fall Winter 2024 collection. And she was styled by the incredible Ryan Hastings. And I really thought that this look was very photo call appropriate. And I love that. Now, I just really love the texture of that Tweedy fabric that was used in the construction of this look, as well as these fringy like details that we see at the hems of this look. I also really love this headpiece on her. I mean, Anya has been wearing a lot of like headpieces lately and to be honest bring back headpieces because they just bring or add a certain level of like oomph to a look that i really can appreciate i also really love the styling of this look with those sandal heels and i just love her not including that inner shirt as we see on the model i think that edit was very much needed not to make this look feel drabby and i love that so yeah i really did love this look so it takes the seventh spot in this ranking in sixth place, we have Anya Taylor Joy at the late show with Stephen Colbert, and she was in this burgundy wine leather short dress by Mugler from their Fall Winter 2024 collection, and she was styled by Ryan Hastings. And this was definitely one of the more standout looks that we will remember in this movie tour because I mean, she looks really stunning in this look. Now I just love how sexy this look feels, and I just love this wine color up against her skin tone. I mean, I always trust Mugler to deliver on the sexy and they surely did not disappoint me with this look now with the addition of this lacy back details that we see she was definitely bringing sexy back with this look and i was just obsessed i also am just obsessed with this wet like texture that we see on the leather and just the gathering on select parts of this look i think this look was risque it was sexy but at the same time it was still serving me fashion so yeah i really did enjoy this look so i'm gonna put this look in the six spots in this ranking in fifth place we have Anya Taylor Joy at the UK premiere of the Furiosa movie in this black velvet bodysuit moment with white petals by Gian Battista Valley from their spring summer 2024 collection and she was styled by the incredible Ryan Hastings and she looks like an absolute floral goddess in this look and I absolutely adore it now I just really love the smoothness of this velvet material that was used in the construction of this bodysuit as well as how it just ultimately fits her I also also really love this 3d floral detailing that we see at the top part of this look and i just really love that she added those black sheer leggings moment to this look i think that decision in itself just helps to elevate this look for sure and i really loved it i mean she looks elegant and radiant in this look and i just really love her hair up in a bun and those bold red lipstick now this look was definitely another standout look from the bunch so it definitely earns its spot as the fifth look in this ranking in fourth place, we have Anya Taylor Joy at the Furiosa Press Tour in Sydney, Australia. And she was in this brown asymmetric top, tucked into this wine leathery maxi skirt by Rick Owens from their Spring Summer 2024 collection. And she was styled by Ryan Hastings. And after all the mini looks that we've seen Anya in so far, this look in itself just felt very refreshing to see. And I loved it. Now, I just love this kind of ruched up asymmetric top that we have. And I also really love the stiffness 
because of that leather material that was used in the creation of the maxi skirt now i also love these pocket details that we see run across the skirt and how it just ultimately just kisses the floor i mean there was just a grungeness about this look that was very true to the furiosa movie and i just really love how we see what the movie is all about really cross over into her fashion looks now i also love that this combo in itself just gives us the illusion of a dress i think that in itself was just a well thought out look so yeah overall i really thought that this was a great look so it earns the fourth spot in this ranking in third place we have Anya Taylor-Joy at the premiere of the Furiosa movie in Sydney, Australia and she was in this gold and silver see-through short dress by Paco Rabanne from their Spring Summer 1996 Hot Couture collection and she was styled by Ryan Hastings and this was definitely one of the looks that gagged the girls for sure and we were like yes bring the fashion and I think she really killed this look for sure. Now I just really love how avant-garde this look is with that arrow-like sprouting details that we see run across the entirety of the look i mean this definitely paints the picture of an archery moment and i just love how the dramatics were executed to form this look i also really love this matching headpiece moment i think that in itself just tied in really incredible with this look and i loved it i love the styling of this look with those clear palms i think that in itself just blended really nicely with this look so yeah this look really gave me the right amount of campiness and high fashion so it earns the spot as a third look in this ranking in second place we have anya taylor joy at the furiosa photo call in mexico and she was in this silver metallic super structured short dress with floral detailing by Bauman from their spring summer 2000 couture collection and she was styled by the amazing Ryan Hastings and this was definitely one of the looks that is going to be remembered for this press tour just because of how iconic and memorable it is now I just really love the construction of this look I mean with that metallic material it was so iconic this was definitely molded to perfection on her body and just the craftsmanship that went in to the making of this look is something that should really be highlighted i mean it fits right and i'm just obsessed with this 3d floral detailing that we see on the bodos area of the dress i love her hair with this look i love her shoes and honestly this red lip on her is becoming something that i'm really obsessed with so yeah this look to me was super fab so it earns the second spot in this ranking in first place and my best look for the entire movie tour we have Anya Taylor-Joy at the Cannes Film Festival in France and she was in this beigey bejeweled strapless ball gown by Dior and she was styled by the incredible Ryan Hastings and this was definitely giving me final form eleganza extravaganza and I just think that her showing up in this look just really wrapped up the press tours and the movie premieres very beautifully. Now I just love this look on her and I just love how elegant she looks up on that red carpet now i just love how this look shimmers and shines and just because this fabric was individually stoned for the gods it literally just brought this fabric to life for me now for styling she has paired this look with jewelry from tiffany and co and honestly it just worked really beautifully for this look and what more can i really ask for this look was elegant this look was head turning and it just brought the glamour and the fashion for me so yeah this look in itself earns its rightful spot as the first look in this ranking all right guys we have come to the ending of today's video in today's video i shared with you guys my personalized ranking of the premiere looks for furiosa if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i would definitely see you guys in the next video but do ensure to let me know your top three looks in the comment section because i'd love to know them for sure so yeah see you guys in the next video but for now it is bye guys au revoir